Yo guys, so the prototype shop has been updated as of Thursday, and if you guys don't already know, not only do we have, uh, well not these, but the PR4 series, so anything for like, um, Haku and, uh, E-Girls prints will be in here, you can grab them if you want, however, I just tell you guys not to do this, because what else they add was the Drake gun, so if you guys don't know, we have two UR gear available in the prototype shop as of right now. One 457 and one prototype 234. So these are the heavy cruiser guns. Best in slot for pretty much any heavy, uh, heavy cruiser in the game. So these are very, very good. And I've been asked this question many times in the past like couple days or so. What is the best way to spin your prototype cores and how do I go about getting them? So. I said this in a prior video on how to get prototype cores and if you guys don't want to know or if you guys want to know how to do that, I'll link the video in the description on how to do it but I'll go ahead and do this for you guys right now. So how you do this is if you have duplicate prints if it, of a ship that's already maxed out, so when I say maxed out as in like if it has Fate 7 5s available that should be maxed out. So for example PR5 if it says little 5 icon right here they're maxed out so you get leftover prints those level leftover prints go towards prototype cores. So in this case all my PR1 ships don't give me cores. PR2 ships are also gonna give me cores. PR3 ships except Champagne will also give me cores as well too. I'm gonna get duplicates left over and I cash those in. So if I go back to the shop once again I go to prototype I go to blueprint anal analysis in the top right right here and I click one of my ships. So let's say I have a uh, Cheshire messed out or maxed out or messed up uh, maxed out already. I hit max. I go ahead and hit analyze these hit this boom and then I can trade uh, three Cheshire prints for 15 cores confirm and boom. I get 15 cores and I go towards over here. So if you guys want to get the cap capacity for each of these guns. They're 60 cores a print, so you need 50 prints to make a gun. So from scratch, from zero, you need 3,000 of these cores. So the best way of doing it is obviously if you have leftover SSR prints from whatever season you're doing, go ahead and cash those in if you guys want to. Uh, you get definitely get some cores for that. So I can do like uh, Marco Polo if I want to, AVP, um, Jesus, uh, Anchorage. If I want to trade those in, I can do that. Get some cores from there. Definitely can do that. Well, you can't right now because they don't have a uh, what you want to call it. But let's say I want to do. Uh, I can't click anything right now. If like I say, let's say I want to do like FDG, right? Well, you get maxed and takes you to two fifteen. Interesting. I can do that. Trade that in and do all that jazz. Only if the ship is maxed. So in this case. It doesn't work for Anchorage in them because they have Phase Sim 5s coming in the near future. Same as these ships as well too, uh, Haku and E-Girl. So that's why you can't do it. But for prior season like PR3, PR4, uh, PR2, and PR1, if you have the maxed out F FS5, then you should be able to cash them and whatnot, right? So like this. So now the question is, what's the best way of spending these now that I know how to get them? The best way about going using these uh, cores or whatever is going to be as followed. Again, I don't recommend you guys buying any of the gear prints because these are much easier to get. Now, yes, there are good gear from these batches like the uh, German fighters, the AP rockets or whatever. Those are really good from PR4 and stuff like that. The champagne gun as well too from PR3 and so forth. There's good options, right? Trust me, guys, get the guns first and then worry about these because these are absolutely best in slots. You're not going to replace them in the game as of right now, whereas these gear right here are replaceable, except maybe the German fighters. Those aren't replaceable as of right now, but you'll get a lot of them along the way when you work on PR4, so I wouldn't worry about it that much. And I don't think you guys, I don't think some of you guys are at the point of game where you need AP rockets, fighters, because if you are working on PR4, chances are, um, you're probably in the mid stages of the game as of right now, so you should about definitely start getting uh, AP rockets done. So don't worry about the prints for these or whatever. Definitely focus on the UR gear first. And so, best focus here is going to be the battleship gun. Like I said many times before, the most of your damage, aside from Vanguard torpedoes, are going to come from your back line. So if your back line is doing auto damage, you want to invest into them. So investing into them means getting a 457 Georgia's gun right here. 
After that, once you got this gun, go ahead and grab the Drake's gun, the Prototype 234 right here. Uh, this You don't need many of these. I made a video about this a couple weeks ago. Uh, one minimum, two ideally. You want to have one for Drake, obviously. And if you want to, if you have like rune moves or something, or you want to use uh, Anchorage, there's also a good slot as well too. Uh, definitely, you want at least one for Drake. After that, if you want to get a second one, go for it. But if you have leftover cores, you might as well just grab both, right? So focus on your battleship print, uh, battleship gun first, then work on heavy cruiser. And then if you guys really want to just wait out the Tenrai, eventually do that. Go ahead and do so. Otherwise, if you guys don't want to wait, you have leftover cores, go ahead and spend them on whatever you are ship you want. Ignore the SSR one, guys. You're going to get a lot of them along the way. Don't pretend these aren't even here. All right. So hopefully that answers some questions for you guys. Good luck on buying your 234s if you guys are on your way doing so. Otherwise, if you guys are still working on your first UR gun from the shop, definitely go for the battleship first, then worry about the heavy cruiser gun. Enjoy the video, guys.